Hey guys, I'm hopping on here to let y'all know that Josh Duggar is still being a big fussy pants jerk from his prison cell. He's asking to reschedule his sentencing date. And you guys, I already put his sentencing as April 5th on my whiteboard. You know if I have to erase it now, it will make all of the other days look messy and I'm just going to have to erase the entire thing and start my calendar all over again. How incredibly selfish of that loser. All right, all right, guys. Welcome, friends. Thank you for being here with me tonight as I head off to bed. Before I can actually slumber, I have to spend time telling you about what a loser Josh Duggar is and how he wants to move his sentencing date back by over a month. According to court documents, the disgraced ex-reality star filed a motion to postpone the upcoming hearing where he is set to find out his fate. Duggar was found guilty on two counts of receiving and possessing child P, despite attempting to convince a jury that he was innocent. At the moment, he is locked up at the Washington County Correctional Facility. His sentencing is currently scheduled for April 5th, 2022. I know this because it is outlined in like pink letters on my whiteboard. In federal court, Josh is facing up to 20 years in prison and fines of up to $250,000. I don't think he's going to get anywhere near that. We've already talked about that on this channel, but that's what he could ultimately, the max that he could get. In court docs, Duggar claims he has been unable to talk to his lawyers as much as he would like due to rules in place because of the pandemic. All right, so Josh is upset because he's not getting everything he wants when he wants it. And screw COVID-19, he doesn't care about that. He just wants what he wants when he wants. His lawyers say that due to certain reasonable COVID-19 precautions understandably instituted at the jail at which Duggar is being detained, it has been more difficult scheduling meetings with Duggar than during more ordinary times. I'm really starting to wonder about these lawyers. I feel like Josh and his family have paid them so much money that he should be like their number one priority and they should be there all the time working with him, making sure he gets the attention that he once for his case, right? The fact that they constantly have to say that they are unable to meet with him or there are other things going on. It's like, well, what is he paying you for? He's paying you a lot of money. So I don't really think that this has to do with them not being able to see him. Duggar and his team are asking for the hearing to be pushed back by a month to allow them time to pursue additional information and documentation. I wonder what additional, like what additional information do you need? You know, you're supposed to be gathering letters of people to say that Josh is like a good person, trying to get people to stand up in court. Maybe no one wants to come to court for him. What else could they be like gathering for this? Honestly, of everything that they've done so far, and they've done a really horrible job <laughs> of defending Josh, but this should be one of the easiest parts of it for them because they just have to um, convince the people that quote unquote love him to show up at court and write a letter. I mean, I don't know if it's like these people are having trouble writing their letters, so they need to coach them through it, I guess. Maybe that's a part of what's going on. Okay, but we still don't know what's going to happen because the judge has yet to rule on the motion to move the sentencing date. Of course, they did it on a Friday, so you probably won't look at it until Monday, and then next week they'll decide what to do. And after I spoke to some of my friends who are lawyers and one that's worked at the U.S. Sentencing Commission, they were saying it's most likely he will get this extension because nobody in the court wants to make it like there was some reason that Josh Jugger didn't get the most fair trial available. So here we go, friends. Who knows when the sentencing is actually going to be a month from now, a couple months from now. It all seems rather silly to me. I think that Josh is trying to buy time and still pushing to find some loophole that will get him out of prison. Um, he is in there. He's in there for good. <laughs> so I don't think there's much more his attorneys can do for him. I don't know how much it really matters what people have to say at his sentencing. I do wonder if behind the scenes there's a lot of turmoil going on, maybe infighting among Josh and the people in his life about what he wants to be said at the trial. And also the lawyers might be um, trying to work with him as well. Maybe he wants to continue to claim that he's innocent and the lawyers are trying to work with him and say like, that's not going to work at sentencing. 
if you want a lower sentence, we have to find some way for you to stand up and take responsibility for this and to apologize and have some reason why things happen the way that they did. Um, I think most likely they're still trying to figure out some way to go backwards and work on appeals and all that kind of stuff. So, unfortunately, bringing you the news that Josh Duggar's sentencing is likely to be postponed. But even though I'm really frustrated, I'm just reminding you to hang in there, guys. We'll get there eventually. I'm really looking forward to hearing what people have to say at the sentencing. And I hope you guys have a great day and a good night.